and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays is Tricky. And here we are today at Candy Craze! <laughs> okay, so today we're out of the closet and we're really excited. You know, every week you see us eating candy and you're like, you know, where is that place? What else do they have? Well, we're gonna show you. So I always talk about a candy wall. This is the candy wall. So when you come into Candy Craze, the first thing that will happen is the ladies will sing Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hypes up the kids. You see that song? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It actually hypes up Jodie. Like, I love that song. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I do sing it at home a little sometimes, you know, because it's a hype song. Okay, okay. So, anyways, when you come into Candy Craze and you have a candy bar, there's so many different types of candy here. There's hard candy, there's gummy candy, there's chewy candy, chocolate candies, salt, um, salty, 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 sour candy, tea, smarty. Whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so how it works now is that you get your little bag that you go to the ladies and you say, okay, I would like a little bag and you get your little bag and you push on these things and then you fill up as much candy as you want and you pay by the weight afterwards. So, I mean, they have the Lego candy, they have white chocolate covered pretz. Those are my favorites. Me too. Me too. Wait, you have to yeah. have a different favorite. Okay, I'm gonna take that and you can do something else. Okay, um, and they also have pre-packaged candy, so they have the stuff that you love, 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 and haven't seen in a really long time, like Nerds, Sour Patch, they have Chewy Jolly Ranchers, they have, wait, like, a Whirly Pop. A Whirly Pop. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you a few of the things that Candy Craze has today, but I thought that, well, actually, Tracy thought this, a really fun game. So I love candy, you love candy. Yes. So we're gonna play a little game called Guess the Candy. Guess the candy. Let us go guess the candy. Guess the candy. All right, so let's guess the candy. Candy. I call it a little bit joke, is that I'm just gonna pull out a bag and our eyes are just gonna reach in the bag because they're already in these kind of great bags. Okay, cool. Which I want, um, which I want to, Sure, it's good on the camera when I put all that stuff in the Alright, and... Yo, I feel like a newscaster. Me too! And I'm today on Candy Craze News. <laughs> <laughs> a young child came in yesterday to get chocolate covered pretzels. Only one was left. What happened next? <laughs> Catch us later on the 7 o'clock Candy Craze News to find out what the 5 year old did when only 2 pretzels were left. Did she leave? Is it one or two? Did they restock? I find this news reporter is just giving fake news. Fake news? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the pretzels are never done. <laughs> never done. <laughs> okay, so I asked one of the ladies here at Candy Craze to set us up with some candies, but we have to close our eyes. Uh -huh. And then we're digging the bag. Dig in the bag. Okay. Close our eyes, take out one of the special bags. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna we're gonna taste it and we have to decide what candy it is. Okay, so we're playing guess the candy. Guess wow. The candy. Okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Lady B gave wow. you something? No. I, no, she didn't. Lady B didn't give you anything? No, nothing today. No? No. It's terrible. I got something. I got a spicy watermelon margarita. I got something spicy too. So Lady B mixology with the passion grape so spicy it with red rum. You know how good suck up? No, I can't suck it up. You have to suck strong. It's frozen. It's very frozen. Wow, I like it with the red rum. Oh, yeah? But it's nice for like a refreshing day. This is yeah, this is nice and refreshing. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, close your eyes. Okay. So put my hand in the bag. Okay. Your eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. My eyes I are take closed. something. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh. Mmm. It okay. feels like this is chocolate stones, but they have like a rice crispy crunch inside of it. I don't taste the rice crispy crunch. You don't taste the crunch? No. I definitely know it's chocolate and it's candy coated. Um, we've had it before in the Easter box. I think it's called something dirt. 
Can we get a clue? The one of the chocolate. The, oh wait, wait. She's, this thing here. I've opened my eyes. Uh -huh. This is called chocolate dirt. No. No. Okay. Try again. Oh. So. Moon rocks. No. Chocolate pebbles. Close enough. Chocolate rocks. There yeah, you go. chocolate there rocks. You go. Okay. So here we go. Let me put it in my hand. Well, that's not rice krispies. That's a candy coating giving that crunch. I think so. There's rice krispies in the middle. It's just chocolate. It's chocolate. So we've but had these like before. Like rocks. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've had these before in um the little Easter basket. Mm -hmm. the, the Easter chicken was sitting on these. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Those are very good. Those okay. are very good. Okay. Next one. My point. I have a point. Okay. Wait. 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 Hold on. Hold on. What? I have a point, let's sit. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, I wish I could sit, but this is so frozen. Woo! Hold on, let me just... It's a lot going on right here. Yeah, right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, okay. close the eyes, close the okay. eyes. Close your eyes. I don't know why you keep your eyes closed for so long. I'm not that trusting. Okay. All right. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right. Okay, hold on, I'm going for mine now. Wow, okay. It's a gummy, it's a gummy. Uh, uh, hold on. Gummy peaches. I... Gummy peaches, no. It's a gummy something. I, I'm gonna go with gummy peaches. No, I'm gonna go with, um. Wait, the passion, passion plum from long time? Oh, you're... No, but it's actually a peach, sour peachy heart. Yes! I got that one. I got that one. I just didn't want to say the same thing. <laughs> I got that, that one. Sour peachy heart. That was the, they were very good though. Mm -hmm. I like peach. The it kind of... You're not thinking of paradise now. Yes! Yeah. I was almost thinking, you know why? Because I opened my eyes and I saw the two-tone color too. Am I the only one with my eyes closed? I can't keep my eyes closed for that long. What do you think this is? Bedtime? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come, come, come. Oh, Take okay. your eyes again. Next Wait, hold on. Yes, if I need to see. Oh, I have a point too. 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 So one, okay, one, 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 one. Okay. Alright. Wait, that one. Straight to Tito. Boy! Spicy in here too. Mm. Okay. Wait. Alright, close your eyes. Okay, okay. So don't open my eye any at all? I mean, just do what you're doing. Okay. Okay, hold on. I know what this is. What is that? Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> you, knew, you knew the shape. I, I knew the shape. You knew the shape. Yeah. Okay. But these are, aren't these your favorites? Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola bottles are your favorite? Mm-hmm. And these ones are big. They're not like the little, you know, no, giant. Mm -hmm. One liter. Yeah, one liter. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have the one liter cocoa. Oh, that's my point. That's my yeah. point. Close your eyes. Wait, now they're going to chew this food. Alright, chew it up. You want me to pack up everything in my mouth? <laughs> Wait, no man. Right. Enjoy your surroundings. It's really nice in here, actually. Mm -hmm. So, we haven't gotten to me, my favorite part, the best part we haven't gotten to yet. Close your eyes. I have this in my mouth. But how long? I mean, I just find as I chew uh, the same average of every human. But you, I, you swallowed it? Well, I only bit half. Mm. Okay, ready. Okay. I've had these before. Let's see. Oh! I know this. I know this. I know this from the smell. I got them. Mmm. Mmm. Cotton candy, marshmallow. Mmm. Come on. I want to open up. Oh! Watermelon fluff. No. <laughs> this don't taste like watermelon. It tastes like cotton candy. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Mm-mm. It's strawberry, strawberry, puffy puffs. Strawberry what? Puffy puffs. Strawberry puffy puffs. Oh, I should have. Had that marshmallow. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
I like it. We've never had these before. These are nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whose point is that? Mine. Nice. <laughs> that was my point. I said okay. puff. You said puff? I said puff. Okay. Whew. Let's have a drinky drink. I said puff. It's very bright. What do you mean? Like the sun is bright. Yes, it's summertime. Oh my gosh, it's so hot too. Yes. So if you want to cool down, you can come to Candy Craze for their ice cream. So we're gonna do something with the ice cream really soon. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you can see the nice ice cream bar behind me. But, you know, so usually during the summer, at the end of summer, after summer, or maybe for a summer job, everybody's gonna start looking for you yeah. know, a work. Yeah, yeah. Right? A work. A work. You know, mm -hmm. I remember every summer I had a job from I was I was pretty young when I started working. Me too. What was and your first job? I worked as a teacher's assistant at Discovery World um, Summer Camp. Okay. And I was young. I think I was like 12 or 13. I worked as a receptionist at Bowery Media and Associates. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. Me and Donna. We were mm. receptionists. Okay. Yeah. And I would walk down and get patties for lunch. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. So you're heading out on a job. Oh, right? I, oh, I'm going out on a job. Now. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take questions. We're going to oh. alternate. Oh, you're interviewing me? Actually, yeah, I'm going to interview you. Okay. Job interview. Yeah. So this, okay. is, this is your dream job. You really want this job. Okay. All right? Okay. What you're looking at, Kavala, you're looking at my makeup? I saw that look. What's wrong with my makeup? Nothing's wrong with your makeup. You actually look beautiful. Oh, wow. You I look nice Jordy too. says, you actually look beautiful. <laughs> Usually you look like a lizard on a log, but today... No, you look beautiful. Okay. You look beautiful. Thank you, Joe. You, you could have put on like a glass, though. You look them not dry. I thought I put... I, oh, gosh, it's in my bag, you know. I shouldn't get it. I do, okay. Okay, so, so my dream job interview. Okay. How would you solve problems if you were on Mars? I'm on Mars, or what kind of problems are we No, having? no, you can't speak to me like that. I am the Dan Dada. I am yeah, This is how I speak. I'm speaking to anybody like that. So I don't care if you're the Dan Dada. So you're going to ask more questions? Yes, I need to okay, know. Okay, what do exactly you need to know? Okay, Paul, what do you need to know? What exactly is the problem that we're having on Mars? Martians. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into our territory? Yeah. And we need to get them out. Yeah. Well, I think I would just get some Bagon. Bagon kills Martians? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of garden gnomes? How, co how come you're the queen of England? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> because you didn't say I have our kitten heels today. I know our kitten heels. I know Oh, okay. Okay, meals. So I get to talk like this. Oh, okay. What do you think of garden gnomes? Um, I think that they're very interesting. I mean, you know, I love the folklore and fairy tales that, you know, follow them. I think it's they're very mystical and magical. And I think that they bring a little happiness to the people who put them in their garden. So I like to see them too because I know that that person's happy and they love their garden. So I like I like them. Wonderful answer. I, I like that answer. I'll give you a check. Check. Why are manholes round? Well, I actually fell into a manhole one time. Well, you are round. Yes. And that's why I think they are round. Mm -hmm. Because if you were to fall into a rectangular or a square manhole, I think it would hurt because you'd have those very, very harsh, straight lines and corners where it's round, you fall in, you just fall right in. So you're saying that you're saying they made manholes round because they are precipitating the fall of humans into the manhole. That's right. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Um, you've been given an elephant. You can't give it away or sell it. What would you do with the elephant? If, I, if I've been given an elephant, I can't give it away or sell it. I'm gonna keep it and bathe it. I'm gonna open up a, a zoo of sorts so you could come and help me bathe the elephant <coughs> because elephants are very hard to bathe. They're big and they take a lot of water, so I'm gonna need money to bathe my elephant and help. So I'm gonna open up some kind of attraction so you can come and help bathe, bathe my elephant. I'm also gonna use my elephant on a construction site. Oh, so you're gonna have the elephant work for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I think that's pretty cool. And then like in the evening, you could set up like a backdrop. 
and then people can come and take pictures with the elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm also gonna give my elephant time to relax. Yeah, yeah. Elephant rest is very important. It's very important. So I would like to come to you now from Candy Craze News. When Tracy Stewart was in kindergarten two, Miss Men said, you can be anything you would like to be. Tracy Stewart then said, I would like to be an elephant. This is true, this is true, this is true. Miss Men said, Tracy, you cannot be an elephant. And Tracy cried for the rest of the day until her mother picked her up from school. And then mommy said, what's the problem? And I said, well, Miss Men said, I can be anything I want to be. And I want to be an elephant. Right, and so it was father daughter evening, and you had to write what you want to be when you grow up. And like, I was like wanting to write my little thing about being an elephant. And they had to teach her, and mommy had to speak with each other to try to get me write something else. Like teacher, <laughs> teacher or nurse, everybody wants to be a teacher or nurse. Tracy always says, Imagine daddy come and look at everybody, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher, I want to be a nurse. And Tracy always says, I want to be an elephant. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, I'm glad that you would take care of the elephant and baby elephant. Yes. Because Definitely. this elephant could be you. Could be me. Could be anybody. Could be anybody. Could be anybody. Okay. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be and why? I'm in Jamaica? Yes. Well, I would want to be a lignum vitae tree because that is our national tree. No, so I'd want to be a bloom of whole tree, the flower. <coughs> or the blue moho with lignum vitae because you can't no, chop it down. No, lignum vitae and blue moho are two different things. The no, blue moho is a tree. The lignum vitae is something <coughs> else. It's a flower that's on the tree. No, the blue moho is a little lilac flower that is on the lignum. Yeah. Right? It's two different trees. It's two different trees. Two different trees. I feel like I'm on top. Lignum vitae is the one that when you wear at high school and they have the whole flower and the little mm. flower and it's and the, the bark is the starchy and right. the type of shade. The blue mahou is a big tree. Mm -hmm. And then when <coughs> the leaves fall, furniture over. Yeah. yeah, and then when the leaves fall, it's a whole like, When the breeze yes. blow, the leaves just flicker, flicker all over the yeah. place. Well, I want to be a blue mahou tree because you can't cut down blue mahou trees in Jamaica. Really? No, it's illegal. Okay. So I want to be a blue mahou. Okay, okay. I want to be a blue mahou. You, well, you're right now, you're, you're a brown mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we finish the interview and you step outside the office and you find a lottery ticket that ends up winning $10 million. What would you do? I mean, I'd go collect my winnings. What you want me to do? No, that mess a girl. Collect you want winnings. Me I don't know. Nobody has to know. It was on the, but that's why that it's on the ground. It's fair game. It's fair game. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I found a suitcase full of money, I'm not that person that's going to take it to the police. No, me neither. I'm that person that's going to take it to my house, count it up, mm -hmm. and plan which bill I'm going to pay first. That's me. Like, God sent me a present. The, God, the Lord will provide. The Lord God will, will provide. provide. Okay. Um, what is the color of money? I thought this question was very interesting. Well, I mean, logically speaking, it, it depends on the country that you're in, but you know, everybody says money is green. I think that's the, I think that's the color connected with the word money. money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, are you a hunter or a gatherer? Ooh. I would definitely say a gatherer because hunting is hot, you know. It's hot. Hot? Hot. Think okay. about hunting in the sun. You, you expel a lot of energy. But what is a gatherer? I don't know, I guess a gatherer is like a, you know, you can gather people together to sit down and chill out. Oh, you're on the chill out team? Yeah. I want to be a gatherer too, because it's something like there's a pool and cocktails yeah, 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 and yeah, some yeah. lady bee. I know, yeah, I, know I like I gathering. Know. I yeah. like gathering too, mm -hmm. you know? I don't want to hunt. That's why, that's why Scott is a hunter. Scott is a hunter and you're the gatherer. Yeah. Okay. What is Sean? What is Sean? Sean can't hunt. And I just don't see Sean by the pool, like, chilling out. Mm -mm. So what's he then? Um, Chief. Chief? He's a chief. Yeah, Sean likes to think he's in charge. Yeah. But we all know who's really in charge. <laughs> okay, let us take a break from our job interview. I'm not sure if you have the job yet. 
Yeah. But the spice in this is kicking up in my throat back. And you know what they say. Where are we going? And now this? back to the Candy Craze news. Creamy ice cream, such as the ones you can get at Candy Craze, can help to soothe any, what is it called? Spicy food tingling in your throat back. Let's now go over to the ice cream bar and check out the wonderful flavors here at Candy Craze News. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay guys, here at Candy Craze, there is a cold stone, which is like a stone or a slab that's kept really, really cold. So when you roll out your ice cream, you can add, there's chocolate chips, there's sprinkles, there's Oreo bites, there's almond pieces, there's M&M's, there's sprinkles, there's whatever, you do all kind of wonderful things. You can chop it up in an ice cream. So today, Tracy and I are going oh, to so chop it up in two, ice cream. Yeah, so you yes, you have, to, you have to move your hand in a, in a, in a rhythm. It's two choppers each. But you have to do like the guy on TikTok and make it look like. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. So what kind oh. of ice cream would you like? I want to eat it. So I want coffee. Yeah, I want coffee. Alright, so yeah, one scoop for a teaspoon. No, we have one scoop. One scoop. She's a hot. What else do? No, we have half. Okay, I'm happy now. Do I need to scrape off the ice first? I'm seeing what's happening. Oh, no, 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 Okay. When okay, one, okay, I was just about to add, when one is, okay. Alright, this is what you do. Um, can I have a... They have non-dairy flavors here. So I'm going to go with, um, what, what flavor? We have guava passion, coconut vanilla, strawberry banana, and this flat one. I was following the guy on TikTok, he does this. You know what I'm talking about, don't it? And now I add my toppings. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of just a few MMs. Then I'm going to add just a few chocolate cookie dough bits. Thank you. Okay, so I decided to go with a dairy flavor anyway because I just love pralines and cream. So I want to do my. Yeah. So now I chop it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. You don't want to mince it too much, so it turns into the milkshake. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So a few folds, and then you can. And that's it. Yeah. Right. Um, TikTok, man, it it it's so hard. Anyway, this is the best part. And then you have your ice cream and then you get a spoon. Alright girl, your turn. Let me see your choppings. Are you looking at my, my toppings that I can have Thank you. Cookie bits? Do, do no, it artistic, no, no, no. Trey. Do it artistic. Right. Okay. Um I so want I will, to Chop big tree. Don't chop small. Don't chop small. Yeah, don't chop big. Chop don't chop small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have some waffle cone mix. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Thank you. And can I have some of these too? Snickers. Wow. But I feel like Snickers might be hard to chop. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna go into peanuts yeah. since I'm since I'm not a professional chopper. Yeah, but yeah, you have to start small enough. Yeah, chopper them did start small yeah, enough. Okay, big chopper. Okay, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wayne, just over there chopping for your living. Uh huh. <laughs> but anyway, okay, okay, okay. And then mm 
Press it in. Press it in. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Mm. Watch technique, ladies. Watch technique. Mm. <laughs> nice, straight, nice. All right, and then you just put it in your cup. Oh, that's it. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so now, how do you clean off this? Because we know that you have dairy and non-dairy options. You. I feel like something really interesting happens right now to the cleaning of this. We do to go back with this. Everything. And scrape everything off the ice. So in case there was somebody who the dairy and then a non-dairy yes, person about, comes in every time but most times we designate one side for dairy oh and dairy okay so safe we don't know how to lie like m&m's in there mine is the best mm. Mm. mine is the best mm -hmm. okay so you must have some real muscles then eh yes <laughs> yes we do mm -hmm. What is the craziest combination that somebody has come in here and done? Um, they've had <laughs> coffee and hot Coffee and what? Hot fudge. Coffee and hot No, the craziest, the craziest. That sounds nice. The craziest would be we've had pistachio mixed with chocolate and then they've had almonds and lucky charms. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that's it. Sounds like somebody be going to Jakarta first and then stop it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. No, but I love the candy cream ice cream. Candy cream, the ice, candy cream. cream ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. We're gonna we're, we have to take a little break. I'm gonna finish this and then we're gonna come back and say a little bit about some of the other ice cream creations, sundaes, all of that that you can get right here at Candy Cream. Okay guys, so here we are. Summer is here, summer is hot. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some summer fashion. Summer fashion? So fast fashion is suit. Okay. So fast fashion is really, really, really hot on trend right now. And summer is here, fast fashion is here. But the materials for some of the summer fast fashions are very, very cheap. What do you think about wearing these materials in this hot weather and poor stitching? Sweat coming through. Like, how do you how so do you manage I, this? I am I'm, I'm a fan for fast fashion. Mm -hmm. I will spend my money on jewelry or on a handbag or even sunglasses, and my clothes will be the cheapest clothes ever. Mm -hmm. um, but I know how to shop. Mm -hmm. So, in a, like a fashion over, or I haven't really been on to Sheen yet. I will look at the material of the clothes. Because, mm -hmm. for example, if I'm searching for something and it doesn't have more than three percent spandex or elasticine it won't fit on my body mm -hmm. because i'm too curvy okay dolly buddy yeah that's me never know <laughs> but um so i won't get that fit mm -hmm. so you won't get the nice curvy fit and then mm -hmm. if it's polyester is it like supposed to look like a linen it depends so i do read the materials and what it's made of because i, I don't want to just order a hundred dollars worth of things i get mm -hmm. 70 things i wish and none of them fit me. Right, right, right. So right. I have to look at the material breakdown. But in terms so of also, stitching, mm -hmm. I have a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. So even like if I'm abroad and I'm shopping, you get a, at least a 15% discount if like a seam is out. And then I will, get, I will, I will more be like more than likely pick up the one that's damaged, ask for the discount, and then I'll come home and I will stitch the seam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you shop online for your dolly body? How do you know that that style is going to look good on you? I don't know. I think because I've just been shopping online for so long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for um, bust, I want to see like a dart from the underarm going to the bosom. Because mm -hmm. then that means that you'll get that nice, um, it has a space for your bust. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have the space for your bust, then you're going to get that really flat, pancakey bust look. Mm -hmm. um, then I look at how I'm going to get into it. Is there a zip? Is there some kind of, how do I fit my, my head into the outfit? How do I zip it up? So what is um, your, what do you, what do you want to pay? What do you want to pay? What is your budget for your, for your fashion? I like when everything costs $20. If it costs more than $20 for an outfit, I don't like it. 
Okay. I like $20. Okay. And if it's less than $20, then that's even better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it's less than $20, I will take a chance to say, all right, it don't have the zipper or it don't have the dark. Let me take a chance to see if it will fit. So now you're saying that you will spend money on shoes? Shoes mm -hmm. you spend money on? Yeah. Okay. I just find that going out, I, well, I don't go out very often. But if I'm not touching the road or like a Saturday with friends, to have an outfit, Dolce & Gabbana dress, to go to a baby shower, mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. that's not worth it. I can mm -hmm. find something that looks really, really good, that costs way less, that looks amazing, and I'm standing up beside somebody like Dolce & Gabbana and you look better than them. Yeah, girl, I do that. Straight mm -hmm. through. Talk it. Talk so, truth. And then when the things, when I can't mm -hmm. wear them, well, not that I can't, but when I don't wear them again, or I, I need to give them away. It doesn't hurt me because I didn't cost, mm -hmm. I didn't spend four grand on a dress. It was seventeen dollars. I can be like, you want this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm able to keep my wardrobe fresh. You chat so much. Your ice cream melting. melting on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I like fast fashion. I like fast fashion. But the thing is, we like fast fashion. But when you have, when you think about it. How fast fashion, how things are made, and the factories and the conditions is not really the best. We're not thinking about that. We're not, We're not thinking, thinking about that. We're not thinking about that. Okay. Okay. Next question. This was so refreshing. Mm -hmm. This is a good choice. Mm -hmm. Next question now. We're going out. It's a summer. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to drink at the bar. We are definitely. What's your drink of choice? Um. So it depends. Mm -hmm. If Hennessy is available, I'll do Hennessy on ice. Wow! How long are you gonna stay out for though? Because I, I don't find that's an all night drink. You don't know me. You don't know me. Hennessy on ice. If Hennessy is not available or it's not something that I can have for the entire night, then I will do white rum cranberry, mm -hmm. white rum grapefruit. Mm -hmm. um, white rum, yeah, I love a grapefruit. But not everywhere you go is grapefruit available. It's so it's so annoying. Because grapefruit is expensive. Great. And I can't do white rum and orange juice. I don't like what no, that tastes. No, no. And it's grapefruit juice. Great, right. So what other grapefruit would it be? Soda. Some oh, yeah. like a Schweppes. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, okay. What would you be drinking? Well, for me, it depends on how long I plan on staying out. Speaking of which, let me just get my drink. If I'm staying out for a small period of time, a short period of time, I'll do something hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hard and done? Hard and done. Okay, okay. Like I'll do like a martini or something like that, you know? Oh my gosh. What? Well, martini is hard? Martini is like 100% alcohol with a tube of olive juice. Yeah, martinis are hard. Or I'll do like shots of tequila and then have it, you know, mm -hmm. tequila and soda water or so. Okay. But if I'm not going hard, then I'm gonna have a beer, you know? Beer? But I don't like, I don't, not the flavored bears. I just like the plain beer. Beer? Yeah. When did you start drinking beer? Dog, I know. You remember that time at the club where the man gave me beer? Beer? Like, you got so upset. You're like, you are trying to buy a lady a drink to impress her. You buy me beer? Beer? I remember that. And we got okay. stuck at the club tonight. Why did you take it? Oh my gosh. Mm hmm Okay. So, okay. Summertime in Jamaica. What are your must attend parties? Wow. I mean, I find that for me, Sun Nation parties mm -hmm. are always good. Like I can go to a Sun Nation party and know I'm going to have a good time. Mm. And they always provide um, little treats at the party, like what's that thing, like loot bags or stuff, you know? Yeah, we, I mean, we all left with umbrellas. Yeah, we, we all, all left, left with fans. Fans, we all left with cups, mm. we all left with like, not to stop. So here's my thing. I hear what you're saying. I love Sun Nation. If you want to um, give us any free tickets, complimentary tickets to your party for just beginning up, you can send them to PO Box 1510 Kingston 8. Anyway, but what I'm thinking is, I think that now promoters are starting to take advantage of their patrons because they know that one, they have a following, two, they'll pay. So I find that in some cases the experience isn't the same or Everybody goes to the party, they're just so hoity-toity, nobody wants to have fun. So I will give a newer party a chance. Mm -hmm. Like a newer party comes out of the scene, it doesn't have the brand name. I would, mm -hmm. want, I would give them a chance over a more established party who is now maybe like taking their patrons for granted. 
Well, I don't find that Sun Nation ever takes their patrons for granted. I just don't find that you're on the Sun Nation committee while we're speaking about them. I really love their party. Okay, fine. Remember when I vomited all the way home from their last party? Yes. I drank the bar. The bar. That was amazing. But you know, I find that no matter where we go, we have a good time. This is true. If I'm going to spend my money, I'm going to have a good time. And this is true. And you know, I do like to do like the the dances, you know, like the pasa pasas and downtown dances. I have not done a dance in a very long time. Because but they dance at the dances and I love to see the dance. Oh, okay, so last night we went to... You were out last night? Yeah. Last night I went to Ruby's and it was um, Big People Wednesdays. I just find that every time you describe a night at Ruby's, it's big people something. No, 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 no. You, you, you talk about big people Sunday, you talk about big people Saturday, no, big people weekends, and now maybe, well, I don't know. But anyway, they're playing all the oldies, right? And there was this guy in there, and he was dancing just so good. And he was doing all the old time dances. Oh my gosh, anyway. He and I went out on the dance floor, and I will tell you, I don't dance very well, but I do enjoy dancing, mm -hmm. right? Same, same, same. And so me and him were on the dance floor, and we were getting on bad, you know, and I'm boogieing down, and he's boogieing up, and we were just he's like, boogieing down, and you're boogieing up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. And he was like an older guy, and we had such a great time yeah. together. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. I like that. You like that? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you had a good time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there still a Ruby's on the waterfront? Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay. Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like Ruby's and the food is always good there too. Do you, you find that consistent? I, I haven't been there in a long time to eat. Definitely. Definitely consistent. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. How do you feel now? So we are now opening up. There's more parties. How do you feel about going out? About, you know, experiencing parties? You know, we're just kind of a road march. Um, Sunday gone. Mm -hmm. And no, well, I mean, I think I saw two people in a mask. I commend you for that. How do you feel now about going out and being friendly? Because I don't find that we are scornful people. Yeah. So, when, but I'll be honest with you. On Sunday for road march, it kind of bothered me when people were coming and hugging and kissing me. Yeah. And I get it. Like, it's a super friendly thing to do. But it kind of bothered me because I was like, oh, COVID, COVID. But then I... I was thinking about my makeup. You were thinking about COVID? Yeah. Oh, okay. I had COVID. It was awful. It was traumatic. So, me nor anyone in my immediate family, we haven't gotten COVID. I dodged that thing like a bullet. Yeah, you should dodge it. It wasn't nice at all. No? no. I think the part that would most bother me is the, is the um, when you have to keep yourself in, in isolation. isolation. Well, isolation. that bothered me the most, but what happened is I would have actually not minded COVID if I didn't have the responsibility of house and child. And mm. I was so tired, I was so fatigued, I was so super fatigued, but I had to be washing clothes and I had to take the clothes down to the line and pin them up and then Stevie had to be fed and you know, so it was, it was, it you was didn't get the rest that your body needed. No, not at all, not okay. at all. All right, so if you are just joining us, we are here at Candy Craze in the Progressive Shopping Center. So as you're driving, you go to the book back. And they're the brightest one. So we walked in, we showed you the candy on the wall. So when I keep saying, oh, and there's candy on the wall. You don't know what I mean. There's yeah. all these containers. How many containers are there? And we have over 100. Whoa, over 100 different types of candies for you to choose from. Um, and then we have the ice cream, which is my favorite. And what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Mm -hmm. I don't know what my favorite is right now. I can say that maybe five years ago, my favorite was definitely a Snickers bar. Mm -hmm. Really? Maybe, yeah, Snickers bar for sure, for sure, for sure. But I can't. And then before that, I remember coming home from school mm -hmm. and I would take off my immaculate uniform. Mm -hmm. I would get my, was it a O. Henry? The one, that, or O. Caramello? And it had the ribbon of caramel right in the ribbon and in the middle and it would have peanuts. And I would watch judge, I would watch a people's court and eat off the peanuts around the middle and then be left with the with a caramel ribbon and just mm. suck on the caramel. I, I did that for years. I remember you used to like crunch. Crunch? Yes. Catchy, not catchy. Crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. crunchy. I love crunchy. 
that was after the ribbon in the middle. I should have been studying instead of watching people's court, but I love people's court. Though. People, I still watch people's court to today. Day. To Judge Millian, let me tell you something. Yeah. She teaches me a thing, man. Yeah. Mommy loves people's court, so she's yeah. one that got us logged on to it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Every Sunday people's she has people's court rolling out really? in the kitchen. In the kitchen, she rolls it. Yeah. You know what I'd like for like my next present? What? You know the, 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 the thing that you can stick on the wall and it's waterproof and you can put your phone in the shower with you? I really want one of those. Okay, I'll, I'll know. Because I'm putting my phone up on the windowsill, I can't hear it properly. Oh. You know, I can't touch the screen because, right. you know. Yeah. I really like one of those, the okay. in-shower phone holders. So I can okay. watch Judge Million. Considering it done. Yeah? Yeah. I like yeah, that. Yeah. Thank you. Boom bam. Boom bam. Done and dusted. The big one? <laughs> done and dusted? Done and dusted. Okay. I, I've been hearing this on my Instagram. Done and dusted. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we can talk about like the experience. So you know, I've been feeling weird this entire episode, and I can't figure out what it is, what it is. And I just realized I'm sitting in your seat. Oh yeah, you want to switch? No, no one here. Oh, no one here. No, but you know what? Oh yeah, you are. I'm sitting in your seat. Yeah. And I even combed my hair to this side, so yeah. I turned to look at you like this. I looked good like right, that, right. but now I've come and I've come to the so I've come to the wrong side. And you're just realizing that now? I'm just realizing. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's always good to catch yourself. Because if I do this, my head doesn't look as big. But when I do this, my, my head, head looks really big. big. Yeah. 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 So anyway, sorry for the big head issues, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried, but Jordan messed me up. So I saw a tweet the other day, right? And it was a guy, and he was saying. Who can do for bow legs what Rihanna did for big foreheads? Tifa. Mm. I mean, she had bow legs. I don't think she made it cool. What are you talking about? She came on stage and she danced with them. Yeah, I mean, she looks good with them, but I don't find she made it like a thing. I find nobody even knows she has them. Exactly. Because she just made it cool. She just made it like nonchalant. Hmm. So you even have to think about it. I mean, I do remember her dancing and stuff. Where is Tifa? She's on my Instagram, she posts. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. She's good. She's good, sorry? Yeah. She's good, she's good, she's good, she's good, she's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She hasn't come up with any new stuff lately. Yeah. She and Rihanna. Resting? Resting. Okay, okay. Resting. Caribbean girls must rest. They must. That's how they yeah. say looking good. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right. So now we're here chilling out. In Can you are downing that. We're here chilling out in Candy Grace, and, and we are sipping on some late game mixology. I just find that I just ate this whole. Um, I just want to remind you that you're lactose intolerant. You've been eating lactose dairy ice cream, and you've been drinking liquor. I'm not going to your house later. Well, you're carrying me home. <laughs> Say a prayer for your, for your leather interior. You zip it like a bag over your bottle. <laughs> I know, my tummy is like the most sensitive tummy ever. Like, Timmy's soft tummy is sensitive too. Yeah. Me? I could go to India and eat all the street food, I'll be fine. No, I cannot do that. Scott is like that too. So, if you have a restaurant and you see me walking into your restaurant, you best just be making and preparing that fresh food with the fresh spices <laughs> because if it's just sitting in the fridge, I will taste it and know. Yeah? Mm hmm. Yeah. You and Timmy are always so Timmy, what was it the other day? He was like, Oh, Joe, what's that in the fridge? So I was like, Oh, it's blah, blah, blah. So he's like, How long has it been in here? So it's like two days. He's like, No, I can't have that. I was like, What? He goes, Yeah, I can't have that. So I'll get really sick. I can't eat dill. I can't eat leftovers. I can't eat dill food. Scott can. So we have. So the security guy looking at me. Uh, nah, he's waving. Whoa, yeah. jawline, man. I know, but it's very modern esque. Yeah. yeah. You could definitely go down to Pulitzer and get some work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very striking, young man. Very. Okay, it makes me think of my jawline. You know, like when you see these pictures on, on Instagram and these girls go and they like Botox their jaws to get to change the shape of their face? Yes. Crazy, eh? Um, no, I find that if you have a something that makes you feel insecure and there's something that you can do about it and you can afford it and you really want to do it, then go ahead and do it. Yeah, but yes, that, so I agree with that. But I didn't imagine like that's oh, a possibility. That oh, that, oh, okay, okay, okay. 
And I think it's really cool because say surgery may cost like a 10 grand to be able to change your bone structure. But you're not sure about it. You could get fillers, mm -hmm. change your bone structure temporarily to be like, you know what? I like this. Yeah. I think yeah. that's really cool. I call yeah. it the, the liquid nose jobs. Yeah. I think that's really, really cool. No, the liquid nose jobs, like, they're so cool. I see some of them. I mean, I just find that doctors are so amazing. You know, artistic. Artis artistic. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go and give Dr. Daryl Daly some trouble soon. Well, Maybe I'll take you guys with me. He now does Botox. Oh, he does? Yes. Not, not just in the poom poom, but he does Botox in the face. So I told oh, he him, does? Yes. I told him I'd come and give him a try. You lie. So maybe I'll take you guys with me. He probably won't allow me to because I give way too much trouble. Do you give so much trouble? Yes, I'll be like, pass the mirror, put more. Let me see, it's not even. Do this, pass it, pass it, pass it. And he'll be like, no, I can't give you the syringe. But I'm a bully, so he'll be like, here, just take it, just take it. Who told you to take it? No doctor has ever told you. No, no doctor has ever told you to take it. No doctor has ever told you to just take it. But sometimes I just get like, you know, like I think I know. Do you think more. you should have been a doctor, a, surgeon, a plastic surgeon? No, because I'd be like this on the table. Pass the thing, let me put it in. <laughs> I'd be doing so much surgery on myself. Oh gosh, can you imagine? Yeah, no. Uh -uh. Mm. Crazy. The Lord humbled me with the many professions that I am. Yes, yes, yes. yes so yes. 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 Yeah. <sighs> Are you humbled by your profession? You don't even practice your profession. Well, you can't even give us a YouTube video. Did you film yourself cooking the other night? Oh my gosh, yes. You did? Yes. What did you make? I made salt and pepper shrimp and mm -hmm. Thai noodles. Did Stevie have it? Yo, Stevie is like... Stevie ate tur turkey neck last night with... She had tur curry turkey neck, rice, and cabbage salad. And Mickey made this amazing vinaigrette dressing. Really? Ah, oh, it's so good. I just wanted to drink it. Like I woke up this morning and had cabbage salad and vinaigrette. So just an update. Last week when Tracy was telling everybody to go to the cove and get the turkey neck and whatever. So I said, don't advertise it, not Tracy. Don't advertise it. Anyway, the show done. My girl. Hi, I'd like to order two. It's finished. Here, Tracy later. What? You can't scrape out the pot? Is there anything there for me? Nothing at all. This time the lady don't know Tracy from Adams and Andy's like, um, I'm so sorry, mom, it's done. All right, what's even one serving? I can come down here and get a piece of a bone. I know. I tell you not to advertise it, you know. I know, I know. I love turkey neck. I love but things turkey like neck that. that I don't like oxtail. But I love turkey neck. Well, I don't like the oxtail price and I find that you can cook turkey neck. I like neck because I also like chicken neck. You like chicken neck? Yeah. Because when you come to my house and the chicken foot is on the stove, you're not having that. No, I'm not having chicken foot. I'm not having chicken foot. I have chicken neck. You know, I put the chicken neck in, in my soupies. soupies. Ah, in you yeah. know the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. So um, I just find that when restaurants or cook shops in particular cook something that is um, out of the norm, mm -hmm. like a bulgur porridge or a turkey neck or something that's not the, one of the traditional menu items. Mm -hmm. If you want that, I find you have to order it as soon as possible. If you wait until later in the day, more than likely it will finish. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But I don't even know how people afford oxtail. This car is very close to mine. They need to come off. You saw that? Yes. <laughs> Jeez, oh, baby, baby. Mm. Yeah. No man, my heart just palpitates. Boy. Well, at least it's a is a big car. It's a big car, is that right? Yeah. 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 But I, Jody says a big car. Like it's a big, big car, yes, but if, because you know, if a big car, it's a big car, yeah, you know. So anyway, I want you to beg for oxtail. You love oxtail? Why? Like, no, why? I, no, no, no. I don't love oxtail. If I oh. go to a cook shop it's and a the oxtail the is eight hundred dollars or oh, less, he's a cute guy. He's too. a cute guy too. Well, maybe he wanted to meet you. Yeah. A crash meeting. What are these young people doing up so early in the morning? The time is he's not yeah. early in the morning. Wait till him now. He's not looking at me, he's on the phone probably to his girlfriend. Oh, two hot guys in your one car. Yeah, no, he was in another car over there. Oh, they met up? Yeah. They're friends? They're oh, where did they call him into Candy Cranes now? <laughs> Sweetie. Hey, you want to buy me a Sunday? On a Tuesday? Sweetie is coming to your sweet shop. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay. Tracy, we are married women. <laughs> but we could we could get a little customers, you know. Like I said, I can make you a stone cold ice cream. Yes, see? Yeah, yeah okay. 
سي انا مكيان جاي انا مكيان جاي انا مكيان جاي So I'm not begging for the oxtail. If I see where there's a box lunch that is giving so up. So if you go to a cook shop. Right. Right? What are you praying is on the menu? Hmm. You see, I can't do that. It all depends on what I feel for. I know, I know. Bad question, yeah. right? Bad question. But a barbecue fried turkey neck, I think I'd pray for that. Yeah, yeah. A barbecue fried turkey neck. And if you can cook a fried chicken. A really good fried chicken. With that curry gravy. Some, this one, I'm going to charge you more for the curry gravy now. But if there's an oxtail for $800 and it's a good serving, I will have the oxtail. What? Yeah. Never having the oxtail. Never having an oxtail? Never having an oxtail. It's like I would never go to an order. Don't food worry, food. you ain't finding an oxtail for $800, I'll tell you that. So I said, you're never having an oxtail. Mm. Mm -mm. I also... My shots are right now. I also... What, because you see the young guy? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I also never go and order shrimp when I go out. Same. Never order shrimp. No. Shrimp must not be cooked for more than eight minutes. And also, it doesn't taste good when it's been cooked and set Sit down. down. True, true, true. Like you'll have a nice big jumbo shrimp and you cook it and it just stews down until yeah. it turns into like a little pepper shrimp. Oh my gosh. But I'm not a big shrimp fan though. I'm not a big shrimp fan. Mm. And salmon, I don't go to a restaurant, I don't order shrimp mm. and I don't order salmon. Those never are things I must cook at my house. Yeah, I never order salmon. Because mm. sometimes they overcook the salmon and it dry, it dry, it dry, yeah. it dry. Do you know that the proper way to cook salmon is actually that in the middle, it, it's not it's not supposed to be full, it's like supposed to have like a medium well kind of mm -hmm, vibe to it. Mm -hmm. That's the proper way to cook salmon. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. But let me tell you something. I love a Chilean sea bass. I should she chat out the battery about Chilean sea bass. Anyway. So guys, we are wrapping up now. I am wrapping up. Um, this is a little bag that you'll get when you walk in. Do you not see me staring at you? Hold on, because it's my favorite time. Because when you walk in, this happens. So I have my bag here. The ladies will give you a bag if you want any of the candy off the wall. So I have my bag here for Levi and I've already started Remy's bag here. Um, but before we go, of course, we have your favorite time of a Tuesday. We have Tricky's Corner. Corner. Okay, so this Tricky's Corner, I had to write down and make a couple of notes because it was getting a little bit um, intense and I wanted to remember everything that I wanted to say. Anyway, how I came about this one was I was, you know, one of those times when you sit down and you think and then all of a sudden you start cringing at a decision that you made like five years ago and you're like oh why did like I do that yeah probably yeah. one of your exes okay yes. mm -hmm. maybe one of your exes you cringe about too gosh jeez. anyways so I was thinking to myself wow you know I'm definitely more than the decisions that I have made because every decision I have made has cultivated me into becoming this person who I am so no matter if the decision at the time that I made it was a bad decision I have been able to experience whatever decision it was and learn from it and you know people are always saying to you learn from your decisions learn from your decisions and you know you can definitely sit in a in a space where you let your decisions overpower you and you make it seem like that is a person you are mm -hmm. but i don't think that your decisions define you as a person right? oh i like that your yeah. decisions don't define you as a person right because sometimes you might make a poor decision based on the information that you have or based on what you think you can manage and it's a poor decision and then you're like, oh, well, you know, I should do this. So you should, be, you should learn from the decision mm -hmm. to make yourself stronger and better going forward if you're ever presented with that challenge again, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So then, oh, there are no true right or true wrong decisions. All decisions will contribute to your development and are an integral part of your evolving existence. Oh, that was heavy. Yeah. That's pretty heavy. Sometimes after my shower, I get a little yeah? intense. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Because, like, the person I am today is not the person I am, I is was. not the person I was a year ago. You know? And the, the decisions I make today may not be the decisions I would have made a year ago. Right. Hmm. 
So my existence is constantly evolving. Mm -hmm. So I can't let my past decisions define who I am today. Ooh, a word. I like this one. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> this is good. I think you should just end. I, I okay. find that the more you talk about it, you're gonna like mess it up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna end it. But just repeat the last line. Okay. Don't let your past decisions define you. Define you, yeah. Hold on, let me just wait. There are no true right or no true wrong decisions. All decisions contribute to your development and are an integral part of your evolving existence. Hmm. Whoa, hold on. Another cute guy is pulled up. What is this? Cute boy lunchtime? Oh, wow. I'm going to wave. I'm going to wave. I'm going to Hi. He's like, oh. He's like, is it, he's, he's coming over here. He's coming in? He's coming over here. Oh, wow. No, he's not coming over here. Oh, he's, he's coming just over <laughs> And on that hot boy note, we are heading to go to lunch because oh, we got yeah. hot boy oh. upstairs. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, everybody. Thank you. I'll put on lipstick though from a dry lip there. Yeah, you can't go up there with your chappy chappy. No, I have to let them look. You know, we can take them dessert. Like, hi guys, we saw that you were having lunch, so we thought you'd like a sweet treat for after. So I push the dress. Because I just, you know. <laughs> in the Progressive Plaza over in Barbican. Now you saw us making our um, stone cold ice cream. You can also get sundaes. You can just get candy. Ah, hear me, candy. You can't get candy, but we're not talking about that right now. You can get the yeah, mega salt milkshake. You can malt shake. Yes. Blizzards. Blizzards. You can get the ice cream in the tub because yeah. you know you have, I, I, I'm, my favorite time is at night. You just have the ice cream when no kids are around. Also, Candy Craze makes their own waffle cones, or if you come in, you can ask for the Danila. That's Remy's favorite waffle cone. It's chocolate dipped with the rainbows at the top with um, rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles with absolutely no ice cream, but she thinks it's um, yeah. it's a Danila. So mm -hmm. come in and ask she for She thinks that that's what it is. Yeah. Treat is the waffle cone, yeah. no yeah. ice cream. And we have the Belgian waffle cone. Belgian waffle treats and G's on peace and it, well, a lot going on. Listen, if you need to crave, if you need to satisfy a sweet craving, you can come here. And, and also, if you just want to sit down with a friend with some cool AC in a nice environment, I have face something. the road because yeah. our hot boys park up. Do you want to have lunch this somewhere? This has been enjoyed. This this has definitely it been a sweet yes. treat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright everybody, yeah. thank you so much for joining us for this hour of fun, frolic and foolishness on our field trip out here at Candy Craze. Have a productive week, we love you and we will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>